hopefully you've done that and so let's move on so we just went through the main information sheet let's walk a little bit through the 1040 page one so here's the 1040 page one and you can see there's a ton of yellow which yellow means calculated entry so this first top part we've done it all we put the kids in we've put filing status any exemptions I mean we've done all that so that's good we don't have to worry about it and really we start doing things when we come down here to line 7 and that's where we come in and we can actually click in the box and we it's yellow so we've got to have to choose an option here and we choose a link and then we can choose what we want to link to we have some existing links links there's a w2 here and we've got we can create new links to new w2s or other types of forms that feed into line 7 same thing with um all sorts of other options you know you can see so much here is is yellow that we really don't anything enter anything here so you know just like that w2 here's where we put social security benefits and you can see i can click in the box and before i put that here this was green but really what i want to do is i want to link from here to the 1040 worksheet one social security other income worksheet and that's going to take me here and i can put in the 12,000 um, Social Security received this year for the taxpayer and I'm going to see that on a SSA 1099 and I'm going to put that information here and if we had spouse we'd put that here sometimes you'll see uh, Medicare expenses on a Social Security 1099 and we'd put that here as well sometimes people have tax withheld from their Social Security as well now if I want to go back it's real simple I can come up here and click close this form or I can jump through with this previous form buttons over up here or I can just click within the forms tree. Sometimes I like to do that. But uh, close this form is helpful because it takes me right back to where I was and it gives me a good idea of what's going on. So, you know, I could have typed a number in here. I don't want to because I need to let TaxWise know that I've got some Social Security and I need that to feed into other forms like our Missouri forms down at the bottom. All right, so we've got other income up here so we can put in our, our, uh, our dividends if we have any. Um, whereas we would just link here to our dividends you can see I got that schedule B and there and it even tells me about got a hundred dollars feeding in from that form so that's good to know interest of course goes online eight where it says interest and we just link to the schedule B and then link to that interest statement again I don't really have to do that I can just see oh yeah schedule B interest statement dividend statement and I can just jump to those if I need to so that's the pretty much the income section Hip down here in adjustments we've got a few that are important like the student loan interest deduction and uh, tuition and fees but we'll go into that another time and that's all for now